Good evening. Good evening, students. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. How are you today, students? Okay, teacher. Teacher, uh, I only be listening to the first parts of the class, teacher. I'm driving at home. Ah, okay, very nice. So the first part of the class you're going to be um, uh, as a listener. Yes. Okay. Welcome, welcome to the rest. We're going to start at the time of eight five, okay? We're going to start with a class. Okay, teacher. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, students, good evening again. Welcome to the class. Hello, students, hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. I'm having problems with the internet again. I don't know what's happening. I think it's because of time, the weather and all the stuff. Can you listen to me very well? Yes, teacher. Yeah. And Rosibel is writing you. Uh, let me check here. She's going to be a listener. Listener today, yes. Yes, that's what I'm, I'm, I'm... Okay, give me a second. Okay, okay. Can you listen to me right now? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, very nice. Okay, I'm having problems with the internet. I don't know what's happening. So um, I'm trying to, to fix it, okay? If you, suddenly you couldn't listen to me very well, just let me know, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, All right, very, teacher. Okay, very nice. Um, but the, by the time I'm going to be with the camera off because uh, the internet with of my cell phone is not like strong as the Wi-Fi, so I'm gonna be with the camera off. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Very nice. Okay. Um, how are you today? How was your day, students? Very well, teacher. In my case, definitely it's like better than the other days and the month. So, yes, that's a good day. So, what's a good day for you? That's perfect. Yes. I'm happy to listen uh, that you had a good day. And of course, that by the time you're getting better in your days at work, that's good, right? Yeah, and uh, and according to that, well, yesterday it's, no, sorry, tomorrow it's an important day. Not only because it's Friday, and <laughs> it's because it's the last day of the month and it's better because it's Friday too. So it's the most important day <laughs> because <laughs> this month finally ends. So you you wish uh, or you have been wishing that this month uh, ends as soon as possible? Yes, because it was the worst month that I ever had. No, okay, I understand. Yeah, yeah. sometimes we have, we, we have downs and ups, and we have to be like very well prepared for that situations, right? Yeah, in, well, in so this is that is exactly like that ups, downs, and it's like a ruleta. It's a ruler. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but it's okay. But the point is that I, I, I don't remember that in one month, um, on Friday, it's the finish of the month at the same time. So that's basically happy because everything, ev everyone are exciting about this. Because this is the worst month, not only for me, you know, and my coworkers have the same situation. Maybe the sixty percent of them, of my coworkers, have the same situation as me. So we're very happy that tomorrow finally ends this week and also the month. Yeah, so it's special because, as you say, uh, we're going to have a Friday and in the week and in the month right and of course uh, it's going to be special because you're going to be on weekend of vacation right exactly okay very nice that's good what about the rest how was your day mm -hmm. debbie how was your day good evening teacher good evening uh, my day was good, teacher. It was good, with a lot of energy, better than yesterday? Um, uh, yes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> very nice. You had, you need to be strong and to be active in order to uh, take advantage of life. Yeah, it's only a little bit exhausted. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, it's the end of the week, so the energy is like lower than the beginning of the week, right? Yes. Yeah. But, but we had we had to stay yeah. on the on the on the way because that's the hub the, the problem that's the fact right yes okay very nice Sebi okay what about you Vanessa how was your day hello teacher everything's okay it's good yeah awesome I want to sleep. <laughs> oh you didn't work today no. <laughs> okay, so no, I want to sleep. Ah, I want. Oh, I, I, I listened to you. I was asleep, and I was only no, no. to tell you was asleep. And is the correct way? No, but no. Uh -huh, no. okay, you want to sleep? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Too early. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. Uh, yes. There's no course. time to sleep, teacher. What happened? There's no time to sleep. If you have sleep, then you sleep. You know what? Yeah, there's no time, right? But I cannot sleep during the day. Even <gasps> I, I can be tired. I can be like with a lot of... Um, uh, I can be exhausted with the wish of uh, sleeping as you have. But I cannot. I'm not able to sleep during the day. And that means that you have to rest more, bitch. Uh, that means I'm a, I'm a crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
you know, because if I rest during the day, I cannot sleep at night. I stay awake mm -hmm. until one or two a.m. in the morning. That's why I didn't get accustomed to sleep during the day. Not it. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I that's what I told you. I'm a crazy boy. <laughs> okay, very nice. What about you, Roberto? How was your day? Hello, teacher. It, it was a busy day, and I think stressful too because I have to uh, work into um, presentations uh, for for a meeting. Uh, oh. But yeah, it it's well good, but uh, a little stressful. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Okay, very nice. What about you, Aminda? How was your day? Hello, teacher. Um, my day was fine, fine. I think today uh, was a relaxed day. Oh, okay, very nice. Awesome. Ah, oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Okay. Okay, very nice. What about Walter? How was your day, Mr. Hi, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, my day was normal. Uh, today, uh, I went to the office. Uh, and i feeling good for, for today, no raining. Uh, because a lot of people suffering this, this, it's raining season for uh, oh. people to live in dangerous zone. Yeah, yeah. It's like complicated according to the the situation that people uh, are in these times of the season. They have no option to live in another place. And so they are in a risk all the time, right? Because the weather is going to be dangerous in some cases. Yes, uh, so um, we are blazing to to have a, a, a house to protect us, but uh, anybody maybe thinking about other person don't have this this opportunity. Yeah, yeah, that's happened. Yes, that's that's what happened, and um, we we feel like. Uh, they are upset because we see that people uh, live in that conditions are not able to, to change that because they have no opportunities. Of course, uh, it has to be because uh, in the past we were like in a different situation and we could change this, this situation because uh, there are many people who come to live and and their parents don't care about preparing dance for the future. So and what's happening? They stay at the same time. That's why we we have been some problems in in life because he didn't suffer exactly because sometimes we can't, we get accustomed not to work too much, not to um, improve in life according to be the, a different way, right? So it's complicated because those kind of people don't look in order to. To take advantage of life too, it's like complicated in two ways of thinking, right? Yes, it's complicated for for they don't have opportunities to move for an, another place uh, in the social politician. Uh, I don't know, maybe they they wanna do more in the future for these people. Yeah, I hope so, because, um, well, uh, we need to think about something. It doesn't matter if you have money and you have uh, good opportunities in life and if you have good um, um, uh, lifestyle, I can say. When a disaster is, is going to happen, it's going to take hey, where, you whenever yes, or wherever you wherever, are. Wherever people is affected. Yeah. Imagine Florida. Uh, right now, uh, mansions have been like a disaster. 
uh, cars, the luxury cars are being like destroyed uh, by the by the weather. So it is kind of complicated according to life because uh, it's like like crazy, like like the teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. What about um let me listen the ones Adela, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, and you very nice. Good. How was your day? My day good. Was good. Mm. Better than yesterday or the same? Sorry? Was better than yesterday or the same? Same. The same? Yeah. Oh, okay. Very nice. Awesome. That's good. Okay. Very nice. Uh, I'm going to take the attendance list. As soon as you listen to your name, please tell me present, okay? Adela Trinidad González Consuera. Present. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Aminda René Figueroa de Manzano. Present. Very nice. Belén Patre García. Present, teacher. Very good. Carlos William Membreño Núñez. Debbie Yasmín Girón Ramírez. Present. Very nice. Domingo Alexander González. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Leticia Guadalupe de Miranda. Okay, okay. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Ok. Oscar Anufo Villatoro Herrera. Present. Okay, Rosemary Ventura de Arguello. Rosibel del Carmen López. Oh, yeah, you told me I said this in the right. Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas. Sonia Ivette Alvarenga. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemos. Present. Very nice. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Present. Okay. Wendy Karina Morales Amaya. Okay, let me check. Uh, let me check the message. Yes, okay, very nice. Good. Okay, students, we're going to start. And what do you remember about yesterday's class? What do you remember exactly? Yeah. Uh, I'm here. But my internet is, is bad. I, I don't hear my name, but I hear, I'm here. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, very nice. Okay, we're going to start. Um, what do you remember about your service class? What can you tell me? That you remember. Mm -hmm. Students? Uh, we have a practice and we have a practice uh, using the same at the, at the well, like a practice using the simple past, but according to the uh, these expressions, um, answers, and I remember that, and I remember it was yesterday or and and the idea. <laughs> okay, a day before yesterday. Uh-huh. Okay, very nice. What about the rest? Yeah. 
Yes, it should be practiced and conversation from the book. And we made a conversation about warehouse. A conversation about warehouse. Okay, very nice, awesome. We had the chance in order to talk about some problems according to the um, warehouse uh, products, right? So we were trying to talk about these that ways. Yes, uh, Rocio says vocabulary about warehouse. That's correct. Okay, awesome. So uh, yesterday we started with unit three and we were talking about the that part of the process according to the warehouse vocabulary. Do you remember we have a topic about warehouse management? Do you remember what warehouse management is? Yes. No? Yes? Yes, it's, it's only focusing on receipt and shipping uh, orders where in the warehouse. Okay, very nice. It's about the day-to-day, -day, right, operations? Yes, day-to-day -day operation. Okay, and, and when we talk about warehouse management, we talk about um, be careful with how to work a, 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 properly with the warehouse, okay, daily, right? Okay, and what about stock control? What do you remember about stock control? Mm-hmm. Hello, students. Do you stay there? Teacher, in my case, now I really remember why I don't remember anything because I lost my connection yesterday. And in the second hour, I remember that we have a conversation, we have an exercise that I can participate, but I help uh, the ladies with the conversation about something, the warehouse that they don't have like uh space or something like that like a storage in the warehouse and management and i remember that but then i don't remember anything because i wasn't there okay Very nice. stop yes. control to say is a way to in to create increase profits okay in nice. order to to get um, inventory in the stock, storing, something like that. <laughs> okay, stock control is like inventory, right? In order to uh, get the products correctly in the warehouse, right? Of course, it implies that you need to know which product to buy more and which ones are the ones that you have enough in your warehouse. And so you need to know how to handle with the right products at the right time in order to don't risk with the uh, loss of something about the products, right? Very nice, awesome. Okay, so um, I'm gonna show you here a presentation. I'm gonna, let me check if you can watch the screen right now. Let me share, let me share, let me check. Yeah, here. Can you watch the screen? Yeah, right? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. So that's what we were talking yesterday about warehouse management and stock control. So it is about, remember, warehouse management is the control of day to day. So it's about daily activities in the warehouse and how to work properly with the shipping, receiving, and picking of goods, right? So there's a warehouse management. So it's like keeping touch in order how to know which products are coming and which products are going to uh, different places or which products are going to be picked up, right? So you need to uh, have a warehouse management properly in order to know that. And then we have a stock control, which is of course, 
the right way to create inventory or to take advantage of the inventory in order to work with the situation, right? So you need to, for example, um, know which products are the ones that are missing in the warehouse or almost need to finish. So you need to buy more. You need to know which products are the ones that are not being sold. So and you have a warehouse full of the products. So you don't have to ask for more products if you have enough. So that's a stock control in order to take advantage of what you buy, right? In order to save or to keep it in the warehouse. So that's that's the point. Okay, very nice, good. Then yesterday we were we were talking about these situations, right? So we were trying to think about this. Right now, uh, we're going to work in activity. The activity is that we right now have to look and to take care about this, okay? And to find which one is the meaning for this one, for this one, and for this one, okay? You need to check, for example, if this number one is with number three, you need to, to mark, right? If number three is with number two, you need to know and science, et cetera. Okay, you need to look for the right, um, the right meaning of this content. Okay, so you, you have to do that. And um, then we're going to discuss it here in the class. I'm gonna give you all these five minutes, okay, in order to do it. It's going to be individually, okay? You gotta get time to think about. Let me know when you're ready with the minimum, okay? Okay. Can you watch the screen? Yes, teacher. Okay, very nice. Do you got it? Do you finish? Yes. Maybe. Yes, teacher. Okay, very nice. Let's check. So, what do you have in the holding, um, holding a warehouse? Which one do you think is the correct meaning? The second one. Can you read it? Traditional warehouse whose space is used for temporal and long term storage. Traditional warehouse whose space is used for temporal and long-term storage. Very nice, that's a holding warehouse, okay? So you need to uh, remember this context, okay, about this one. Okay, uh, what about distribution center? Which one do you have? Number one, it can, no, 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 sorry, is... Distribution center in number one? Oh, number three. It serves large, large regions and goods are stored shorter time. Most of it is used for picking and consolidation orders. 
Okay, it serves larger rations and goods are stored shorter time. Most of it is used for picking and consolidation orders. Okay, very nice. That's distribution center. What about cross docking center, so? The first option. Okay, can you read the first option? It can be named a terminal or sorting center. The focus is only on receiving and shipping activities with little to no storage. Okay, it can be named a terminal storing center to focus is uh, the focus is only on receiving and shipping activities with little not, to not storage. Okay, very nice. Cross docking center. So it means that it's a terminal storing center. The focus only on receiving and shipping. So it's not a, a warehouse exactly, right? Okay, it's not to storage. It's just in order to distribute the, the products in, and they receive and they send to the different places, right? They don't have like uh, a storage uh, process. They just have a, a place where they receive the, the products and they then prepare the shipping to a different places there's going to be taking places. Okay, very nice, good, awesome. Okay, right now we're going to have just one activity more. We're going to think about, uh, we're going to work with this uh, number six, okay? We're going to prepare a presentation describing the type of warehouse service that you will need to match the business strategy for your company. So that means that you're going to create a profile about a, a warehouse that you think is going to be important um, in order to know, right? Which one is the one that you need to uh, work properly in a company? Of course, you need to think about a company, right? And then you're going to think about what is the properly warehouse that you need to know and how are you going to um, make it work correctly according to the products and the services and not to lose any product because you have a lot of time in in in, in stock with the products so you need you need to know that okay so we're going to work in pairs about this activity okay is it clear when you talk about my company it's about my work um Okay, not all of or you work. Some, some yes, things. not all of you have a, a company that works with the uh, warehouses, right? So in the so right now you're going to create a company. You're going to think about a company that needs a warehouse, and then you're going to um, give a name of a of a company, and then to choose which one is the correct um, warehouse that you need in order to make your company work uh, with an inefficient way. Okay. Okay, there we go. Debbie, could you accept the, the invitation? Yes, con Mariano, pero Mariano se salió. 
Okay, okay. Give me a second right now. Okay, I'm gonna send you again. Yes. Teacher, I, I drive me right now. Yeah, but uh, uh, even though you need to stay there. Uh, aunque no participe, pero necesito que esté allá porque si viene para acá la, la me va a estar marcando acá como que no lo tengo participando. Oh, okay, teacher, okay. Okay. Lo voy a mover a una la voy a mover a una área de para restaurarla y luego la, la envío nuevamente a la 2. Okay. Okay. What happened, teacher? You didn't I'm, finish. I'm sorry. The thing is that I think it's because my internet. I'm not going to send you again. Okay. So this company is dedicated for in English. It's a, it's a Salvadorian company. This okay. <laughs> correction. Okay, why 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 is about this company? Is a distributor, is a supplier, is a retailer, is a manufacturing. I think for um, retailer. Retailer. Retailer God. of what? Uh, of everything. <laughs> Of everything, things, products, products, do you need? <laughs> you need, do you need, uh, personal care. 
Uh, food. Cleaning. Cleaning products. Food. Clouds. Clouds. Cloud, como se escribe cloud. Cloud, así va. Ya. Yeah. Uh, missing, missing e. Cloud, test, cloud. Yes. Okay. Um, One more. Choose. Technology. Choose technology. Technology objects. Objects. Where? Or to write objects. Object. 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 No. O B J E. City object. City. Repeat, please. O B J E. E E. e, e, e. Ah, sorry. I think it's Spanish. CTS. CTS. Objects. C. T S. T S. Yes. Okay. And technology, you. you can change. G for CH technology technology the, 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 first, the, the first G technology CH S uh, tech, technology Tex. H H A ah, one more. The wellers. What? He wellers. No sé cómo se pronuncia. He wellers. Es joyería. Holding. Holding warehouse. Uh -huh. Okay. Then. Tendríamos que explicar el por qué, o okay. qué. Ah, uh, sí. Light me. What exactly do you work? That that you will need to match the business strategy of your company. Mm. Pero podríamos escribir lo que le dije entonces. El que sería holding, que sería holding warehouse. Because we, ¿cómo sería guardar? Keep it. We keep. Save. Save, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We save the material for, uh, ¿cómo sería nuestro propio uso? Para nuestro for, propio uso. On, uh -huh, on usage. On, on usage, ok. Mm, algo así, no sé. Teacher, what is the meaning of keep it? Keep también es una oh. forma de guardar o puede combinarlo y hacerlo una phrasal verb que puede significar sigue así, mantente de esa manera, etc. Pero también puede ser o agarrar, keep. O agarrar keep. también, ¿verdad? Agarrar, keep. Mm. ¿No? Mm, no, keep no, como agarrar no. Um, okay. O sea, el verbo como tal es mantener, ¿verdad? Sí, mantener, ¿verdad? mantener. O sostener, perdón, sostener. Sos... Ajá, ahí sí, sí. Ah, que por eso le dije agarrar, porque era sostener en mi mente realmente. Ajá, ajá. sí, porque ya el agarrar es take, ¿verdad? O... Ajá, sí. Ajá. Ajá. O, o el get, o incluso ajá. también el hold. Pero sí, también puedo utilizar keep o puedo utilizar save, cualquiera de los dos. Ok, ok, ok. Ok. Bueno, entonces sería explicar.
No sé cómo se dice eso. Es cuando estoy escribiendo de tipo hard service ayuda. Ajá, que tú podrías. Uh -huh. No sé cómo se dice estantería. Stock. No. No. Let me check. Estantes. Which one? Estantes. Estantes. Shelves. Uh, shelves, yes, shelves. Shelves. In the warehouse we need shelf. Shelves. Mm -hmm. No se escribe así. Sí, así se escribe, sí. pero se, se pronuncia shelves. 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 Okay. Well. Shelves. ¿Qué más? No. <laughs> shelves. Y equipos, equipment, equipment. Déjame ver cómo se llaman. Bel Loader. Ah, Bel Loader. B. Belt. Belt is B E L T. Mm -hmm. Loader. Belt loader. Lo. Ay, no sé. De, carga, de cargar. Es um, ah, L O A. Sí. Sí. Uh -huh. Pero la primera es B grande. Oh, okay. Belt loader. Ajá. ¿Y eso qué es? <laughs> Son como unos eh, camioncitos que traen como una, unas bandas que se incorporan y pueden bajar las cajas de los estantes. Mm. Se llaman Beloder. Pero de ahí, ¿qué más? ¿Qué más quiero ver? ¿Qué podemos pedir? <risa> Déjame ver. Tractores, no. No ve. Para mí que estoy viendo ya montacargas. Leaf truck. Leaf truck. Se dice leaf hey. truck. Let me see. They need to 
to they need a, a third party logistic or no? No. It depends. Mm, the, the Juan Garabato have a con, uh, uh, completely uh, uh. structure of logistic or Juan Garabato hire authors. Okay, Juan Garabato has the party list for the transportation. of the products. Transportation? Mm. Maybe sounds better distribution? Okay. Distribution of products. Distribution and picking. Distribution and, and picking. And picking. Eh, Juan Garabato ha a esto control for the uh, every store for the every store analyzing Licensing the demand and planning the orders and planning the quantity. Okay. Quantity of the order orders. Quantity start with Q, no C. Q, okay, thank you. Quantity of the orders. 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 Missing, uh, okay. Orders, one more, one more. Eh, Juan Garabato has a stock control or ex stock controllers? Uh, depends. If he has only one person to analyze for the three store or had a stock control for each store. What is the better? One only a stock control stay in distribution center or Juan Garabato need a stock controller for? I think only in the distribution center because the stock control only need to see the numbers and then analyze and send the, the orders to, to improve the warehouse. Yeah, this is a better, for, for example, you, you think about uh, Santana 
sales more let me see um, more chancletas as San Miguel the, the stock controller in Santana solar protect uh -huh. somewhere is the point you it's better to have a stock control in each store. I don't know. <laughs> Has, but we, a we, we, we need to specific or no, because we can put here Juan Garabato has one. Uh, okay. One um, stock control for the every stores. Okay. Oh, Juan Garato has uh, has to control for every for each store. Okay. My return. <laughs> Welcome back. Y no eran las diez todavía. No, pero sí, ese día fuimos súper poquito. Por eso. Ya todos ya. Teacher. ¿Qué yes. más teníamos que hacer? ¿Qué más teníamos que hacer? Teacher, we have, a, we have an issue because we don't have computer. And. Ah, ajá. Uh -huh. So, um, according to that, we, we, we use our Eh, nuestros conocimientos. According to your knowledge. Uh -huh. I already read. Our knowledge and why I already read. Um, we using the 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 the, the company of Debbie, and uh, we choose the holding warehouse. But that is all. We don't have any idea what else we have to do. Okay, what you have to do is to, as I told you, to create your own warehouse model, right? Uh, of course, you do this. Yeah, you decide your company, but then you decide your uh, the best way to handle your warehouse. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sí, no, no entiendo. <laughs> Ah. Que de más perdida, ah. O sea que no tenemos que no tenemos que elegir uno de los tres. Ah, es que son dos actividades en una. Mm, Yo pensé eh. que me estaban preguntando la segunda actividad. No. Uh -huh. The second activity. Ok, la o second. Sea, no Elegimos nada más el, el, el uno de los tres. Eso, y, y ahorita lo que no sabemos es eh, que hay más que hay que hacer. Entonces quizás esa segunda actividad es la que desconocemos. Va, eh, escribimos, la... escribimos el por qué lo elegimos, pero hasta ahí. Va, ahorita eligieron los, los, los tres conceptos, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. No, 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 es que los tres conceptos ya lo hicimos. Sí, ya lo hicimos. Por... Ajá, ¿Y cuáles tres me están diciendo ustedes? Ay, es no, que teacher. <risa> teacher, es que nosotros pensamos que usted lo que quería es que eligiéramos uno de los conceptos basados en una de las empresas. Y entonces nosotros, como dijo usted, de que no todas las empresas tienen un storage o un warehouse, entonces eligiéramos la que lo tenía. Entonces nosotros elegimos la empresa de Debbie porque ellos tienen eso. Y ya elegimos lo, el storage, what is the storage that Debbie has in his enterprise. Ok, very nice. Es, lo que todo. pasó fue que se confundieron. Sí. <risa> un, un poquito nada más. <risa> un poquito perdida. O, sea, o sea que no es eso lo que tenemos que hacer. Ah, no, lo que, no tenía, lo, lo que tenía que hacer era elegir una compañía. Luego, ustedes, acorde con la compañía que tenían, elegir y eh, hacer su propio warehouse, acorde a su modelo, su propio warehouse. Y después la van a presentar en la clase. 
Mm, pero ¿y cómo nuestra propia? No entiendo eso. O sea, ¿textualmente o...? o... Ajá, textualmente. O sea, ustedes van a escribir ahí qué es los parámetros, ¿verdad? Que, que, ¿Cómo la van a diseñar? Que, este... Como pues, depende de la empresa que ustedes decidan, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo van a distribuir los productos? Si lo van a distribuir por orden de fecha de vencimiento o por recién llegado, etcétera. ¿Cómo, cómo ustedes van a distribuir su, su warehouse management en su stock uh, storage, verdad? Mm, no, hombre, ticha, estamos perdidos. <risa> no mucho, <risa> no mucho. <risa> no mucho, qué optimista, ticha. <risa> No, pero, pero vaya, ya, así a, a la carrerita hagan, voy a ver cómo van los demás y ya regreso para, para motivarle ahí. Ni, ni nos vaya a pasar a participar, Ticho, que ya sabe. <risa> Soldado avisado no muere en guerra, Ticho. Yeah. <risa> ok, very nice, ya, ya vamos a ver cómo hacemos ahí. Vale. ¿No ¿No <risa> Ay, no. Ya, ya no me dejó ingresar. We finished, okay. teacher. We don't have imagination. Okay, do you finish already? Yeah. Yes. Maybe. Okay, very nice. Ya la vamos a prepararla para que la presenten ahí en la clase. ¿va? Van a presentarla ahí. Ok, ahí distribuyanse cómo van a hacer y ustedes presentan su modelo y. Igual que sus compañeros, yo ahorita voy a ir a, a ver los demás cómo vamos. Okay. Okay. Y Ever se conectó. Hello. Hello. Ever. Uh -huh. No, no se ha conectado. A saber qué le estará pasando. Sí, bastante ha faltado. Sí, raro. Trabajo. Quizás. Yo pensé que estaba enfermo, que se había enfermado. Sí, la, hubo una semana casi que faltó, supuestamente porque estaba en un lugar donde no le daba señal, según. Sí, porque en los módulos anteriores estaba bien activo. Uh -huh. ah, sí, porque... es cierto. Quizás el teacher es que la, les ha mal influido. <risa> no, quizás. El teacher es el problema. <risa> no, no, para nada. Sí, a ver. Teacher, ¿cuándo terminamos el, el, este nivel? Um, Tuesday. Si no me equivoco, sí. El, el 11, I think. Ah, ok. Sí. 11. Oh, es que terminábamos el 10, ¿verdad? Pero el 11. El 10. Yes. Yo decía que el 3 el lunes. <risa> no, es, como, es que como ya este son, son 50 horas. Dios. Y en los anteriores normalmente ustedes tenían 40 horas, ¿verdad? Cuatro semanas. Right. Mm -hmm. oh. So we have two two more weeks. Uh, yeah, two more weeks. Okay. Okay. Pero dice fecha tentativa de inicio 10 October 10. The next mother. Mm -hmm. uh, quizás no lo van a tener vacación. Si está terminando yeah. este van a arrancar. My God. No, teacher. We need, no. Vac we need vacation. Yes, but I, I'm not sure. <laughs> Pero lo que sí es que la documentación es traída en la rápido. Tal vez le dan una, unos días de vacación, tal vez. Va. <laughs> <laughs> Ahorita se conectó Ever. Se lo voy a mandar acá para que me lo motiven. Y yo, yo, yo me, me voy a ir yo para la otra salón. Okay. Bye. We finish. You finish already? Yeah. Yes. Okay, very nice. Um, tienen que um, tratar de, de, 
de, entre los tres, ¿verdad? Presentar su modelo de warehouse porque lo van a presentar en la clase. Ok. Ok, okay very nice. Walter, can you show the presentation? Please. No. Yes. And we distribute a okay. uh, part for each one. Okay. I think. No, uh, when you see. See, I, I think Adela read the name of the company. Are they that you agree? Yeah. You have the idea for this slogan. Yes, a very good slogan. And description. Yeah. And then we have... Y luego me tocó... Teacher, ¿Está? seguimos perdida. Hola, hola. Seguimos perdidas, dicho. No, hombre. Sí. ¿Qué, ¿Qué me les ha pasado a mis mejores guerreros? <risa> Son muertas en batalla. <risa> you know, what? this is very ¿De dónde es esta? This is ironic because this topic is something that I always try to like eh, escapar. And now it's follow me. Oh, uh, so this topic is one that you always avoid or try to. Yes, avoid. Uh, uh -huh. I told you that um, when I was younger, I definitely not going, to, I, I'm not choose anything about administration because I know that I can handle this topic. I don't know. It's not my, no, it's like, I don't know. It's not exactly. your strongest part. Exactly. As uh, some person have, uh, I don't know, this light is mathematics, for me, are best at this. Oh, yeah, but... Um, for me, it's kind of complicated to understand this. I understand the vocabulary, but I don't understand <laughs> the process. Okay, the but, okay, but you told me work in a bank, right? Yes, teacher, but not, be not be because I don't have any option. <laughs> Okay, and Debbie, what do you work for? Uh, I work at a uh, print shop. Ah, okay, very nice. Okay, so in my case, I'm in telemarketing. No, it's not anything about administration, teacher. You, uh, your job is about marketing. It's telemarketing. It's call center. Oh, so you work in a call center. Yeah, it's a call center. I have to sell credit cards, so I don't saw anything about anything oh, i just okay. have uh, but is it yeah. in spanish or in english no no <laughs> in spanish teacher <laughs> ah okay very nice Ay, so, no, ¿qué va a estar haciendo aquí, teacher? Sí, teacher, no me okay, va a sentir so, mal <laughs> miren eh, yo he tenido alumnos en, en módulos en otros lugares que están estudiando licenciatura en inglés y llegan a los módulos de inglés ¿Por qué? Ah, para pulirse pues ah, no, vaya, el, vaya. no por el cartón Voy eh, a hacerlo y lo que hago yo, por ejemplo, si alguien está estudiando una carrera en inglés y llega a módulo de inglés, lo que hago es que yo lo galleteo. Pero siempre yo pregunto, ¿va? Porque cuando voy a iniciar. Eso? Módulo, o sea, les meto presión, va. Porque sabe Ahí me acabo de tener un día. Ajá, o sea, o sea, por ejemplo, porque, va, digamos, yo no le puedo exigir lo mismo a alguien que está aprendiendo desde cero porque lo necesita como algo extra que alguien que lo está estudiando para enseñarlo. Entonces, ah, o sea que estás hablando de las personas que están estudiando para enseñarlo. Ajá, correcto, porque alguien que estudia una licenciatura obviamente va a tener para docencia. Puede aplicarlo para algo más, pero va a tener para docencia. Imagínense que yo tengo un alumno que está estudiando licenciatura en inglés y que no quiere hablar. Ay, no. <risa> 
¿verdad? No, no se puede, pues entonces, no se puede, chele, como dicen los memes, va. Sí, no, definitivamente. Ok, eh, y lo que hago yo es que, pues yo les meto presión, va. Yo digo galletear en el sentido porque, eh, no decirlo así, va, meterle presión, pero es lo que hago, yo les, les pregunto más, les hago participar más, les hago que me presenten esto, lo otro, y ahí estoy. Pero es, Ah. es, pero es por su bien, va, no es por su mal. No, teacher, en, aquí humildes, nada más, no sabemos. No, 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 Es que no hay, no hay mejor opción para aprender que la necesidad. Pero Sí, sí. a, a Belén no le falta mucho, si es bien fluida. Sí, Ni Belén de la tiene pena. bastante fluidez. Belén lo que A tiene mí la que... pena me gana. Ajá, vaya, aquí hay dos polos opuestos. Vaya. Vaya, por ejemplo, Belén tiene el vocabulario, pero lo que tiene que aprender Belén es a manejar los tiempos, porque a veces me utiliza expresiones en presente cuando me está hablando de pasado, o en pasado me las utiliza en presente, y así sucesivamente, vaya. Ajá, ok, yo le comprendo lo que me dice, ¿verdad? Claro, yo le comprendo lo que me quiere decir, pero yo noto esa, esa situación. Eh, con Debbie, Debbie es que tiene pena y tiene miedo a soltarse. ¿va? Ay, sí, a mí se me enreda la lengua, ticha. Ah, En español pero... no, pero en inglés sí. Pero porque le da pena. Uh, Sí, ok. me gana Eh... la pena. No sé Sí. qué hacer porque no, no, no logro. Vale, Debbie, le hago una pregunta. Si usted hubiera nacido en Estados Unidos, ¿qué idioma hablará usted? Inglés. Ok, y... y... Y seguramente el español no lo pudiera. Ah, ajá, vaya. Ahora, si usted se fija, ¿cómo aprenden los niños? Palabrita Escuchando, por palabrita, imitando. escuchando, viendo caricaturas, de todo. Ok, a nosotros cuando queremos aprender un segundo idioma nos toca como los niños. O sea, que tenemos que aprender como los niños, pero somos adultos. Okay. Repetir, 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 formar esta oración. Vaya, por ejemplo, imagínense, cuando yo les pongo a leer el texto, es para escuchar su pronunciación y por corregir alguna palabra. Lo mismo pasa cuando uno está aprendiendo a hablar, que está en los primeros grados, para popularia, primeros grados, segundos, que empieza pa, pa. Mamá, mi papá, me mima Y así sucesivamente ¿Se recuerdan ustedes de eso? Sí. Ajá. Con el tiempo usted aprende A soltar la lengua Porque su lengua viene enredada Aunque sea para aprender español Entonces lo mismo es Pero si usted no habla, no se tira, no se tira Va a ser difícil Tiene que tirarse de sin miedo Sin miedo al éxito. Sin miedo al éxito Hoy sí le voy a preguntar más en la clase Ay no, tiche No, No me no, chanclete, ¿cómo es? no, galletear, galletear. <ríe> Ah, ya, ya le cambié la palabra. no, pero va a chanclatear también, está bien, está correcto. <ríe> ok, nos vamos a ir a la mensation Ay. ahorita, y, pero ya va, Ok. póngase la pila, va, los voy a galletear, los voy a galletear. No, teacher. <ríe> Ay, omite okay. el grupo, teacher, que estamos perdidos. <ríe> ah, ahorita sí, le puede, le puede hacer la excepción, por eso la puedo perdonar. Vaya, gracias. Va, Te voy a ir al cielo, teacher. ok. Y el Mariano riéndose de seguro.
<clears throat> okay, very nice. Do you all finish? I think so. Okay, very nice. Are you ready for the presentation? Yes. Awesome, very nice. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to present your, your uh, warehouse project, okay? And your company to the rest of the class, okay? And then you're going to try to be uh, creative the moment of presenting this information to your classmates in order to make them um, motivated to invest in your company or maybe to work with your company, okay? Okay, let me listen to the team of Adela. Who do you work with? With Carlo Membreño and Walter. Okay, very nice. So you're going to work with the, the team right now in order to work with the presentation, okay? Okay, Walter. Compra baratillo. Juan Garabato compra caro y vende barato. Description. Retailer of, of everything product you need. Personal care, cleaning products, food, clothing, clothes, shoes, technology, technology object, jewelers, animal food. Juan Garabato has three, three big stores: San Salvador, Santa Ana, and San Miguel. And Juan Garabato has one distribution center because all stores are in a short instance. And Juan Garabato has 3PL for the distribution and picking of the products. Juan Garabato has a store control for the each store, analyzing the demand and planning the quantity of the orders. And Juan Garabato creates something promotional to increase the sales and has a high rotation in the warehouse. Okay, very nice, good. Uh, don't, don't, don't finish the presentation. I'm going to make some uh, observations here, okay? Okay, okay. Um, and pronunciation, remember technology, right? Technology. And of course, the part of the uh, jewelry. Okay, you need to add, uh, yes, jewelry is with double L, or maybe you can use it with one L, but you need to uh, erase the E following. Okay. Si lo utiliza con una L, verdad, tiene que eliminar la E. Esa, esa E que eliminó. Si la utiliza con la doble L, está bien la R ahí. Pero necesita la Y, Jillery. De la cualquiera de las dos formas, con una L. Cuando se L, necesita la Y después de la R. You need the Y after the R. Jillery. Jillery. Ajá, hay que poner la Y después de la R. Ok. Ahora, una question. <clears throat> Cuando usted pone la apóstrofe y el S, ¿ahí la quiere convertir en plural o quiere hablar de posesión? Plural. Ah, ok. Entonces, cuando habla de plural, no necesita poner el apóstrofe. Porque el apóstrofe con la S es una pertenencia, ¿verdad? Es un posesivo. Tiene que ser sin el apóstrofe. Ah, ahí está. Ok. Bueno, very nice. Ahora. Cuando hablamos en este, la pronunciación es jewelries, ¿verdad? Repeat. Jewelries. Jewelries. Ok, very nice. Ahora, lo que sí es, ¿verdad? Que cuando nosotros estamos hablando de plurals, ¿verdad? Eh, solo solamente decimos jewelry, ¿verdad? Ok, very nice. Y 
también tenemos que eh, quitar el apóstrofe y eliminamos la S. ¿Por qué eliminamos la S? Porque jewelry es, una terma, es un tema general. Y ahí cuando usted dice jewelry, ya está hablando de joyas en general. Ya no necesita agregar la S. Mencionaba lo del apóstrofe por el sentido, ¿verdad? De eh, si usted estaba utilizando eh, la posesión, ¿verdad? Para que manejemos lo de possession. Luego, uh, estamos utilizando bien las oraciones con simple present cuando dicen Juan Garabato has three big stores, one distribution center because all the stores are muy bien. Juan Garabato has, Juan Garabato has, but al final, Juan Garabato create, ahí es un verbo, ¿verdad? Y como estamos hablando de Juan Garabato, que es una empresa, que en ese caso se convertiría en el sujeto it, ajá, excellent, very nice, creates, ¿verdad? Ok, very nice, good, uh, great job, uh, it's really interesting because you're offering um, a, a service about uh, the project that you have and that's good right okay so created very nice thank you thank you okay okay let me listen right now to the team of vanessa okay teacher i yo recuerdo que que me, me dijeron de que la pronunciación era jewelry jewelry algo así Jewelry, jewelry, uh -huh. yes, yes. Así es. Yes, jewelry. Y yo, ¿y qué dijo diferente? ¿Cómo lo dije? No sé, diferente. <laughs> ya yes. No <laughs> yes, jewelry, yes. Jewelry. Okay. Okay, I mean that it's gonna read really because she is the supervisor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She's a supervisor. Okay, very nice. Okay. Uh, Wanako Company is the name is the name of the our company. Uh, we choose the holding warehouse because these options uh, make up. Uh, we use this option because we produce shirts and jeans, and mm -hmm. keep uh, stop in our warehouse to satisfy the monthly sales and demand. In the warehouse, we need in shelves, shelves, racks, leaf strap, ladder, pallets, and components and competent tins to keep the product in good condition for temporary or long term storage. Okay, very and nice. That's good. it. Very <laughs> nice. Awesome. Very nice. Okay. Wenacos Company, Wenacos Company, right? When you work with that name, it's a possessive, right? Uh -huh. I, 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 you need to make the intonation. Guanacos Company. Ah, Guanacos. Okay. Guanacos. Guanacos Company. Guanacos. Uh -huh. Okay, very nice. And uh, the another, um, uh, let me check where is that. Yes. Um, uh, shelves. 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 It's very difficult. To yes. Pronounce, to pronounce. Yeah, it's a little bit difficult. Shelves. 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 Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Cuando hablamos de shelves, eh, en este caso, eh, hacemos el sonido de la V. Mm. Shelves. Ajá. Uh -huh. Shelves, ¿verdad? Pero el trato singular es solo shelves. Shelves. Hola. El, el singular es shelves. Yes. Es que se recuerdan cuando les di uh -huh. el, el, las reglas y que cuando llevábamos una F, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y la que queríamos hacer plural, la, eh, eliminábamos uh -huh. la F y la convertíamos en V, ¿se recuerdan? Uh -huh. Ok, yes. entonces ahí como están hablando en plural, ¿verdad? Estantes, shelves. Por eso, lo, por eso lo utilizan de esa manera, shelves. Ajá, uh -huh. okay. ok, very nice. Ok, yes. excelente, very good. Okay, very nice. Um, it's really interesting to listen to you and uh, the way you create that product because it's really important as uh, as you to know how to create a way of it, right? Because it's really necessary for you. Okay, right now we're going to have with the next page, we're going to work with this and we have another common uh, adjective in order to work with this page. 
Can you please read it, uh, volunteer, one of you volunteer? Me teacher. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, I will able to identify and provide suggestions to common issues related to warehouse process. Okay, I will be able to identify and provide suggestions to common uses related to the warehouse process. Okay, very nice, that's the objective. So it means um, that today we're going to work about suggestions ways in order to give to a problem that may have or issue that we must have in a company, okay? We're going to work with that. Okay, thank you, Aminda. Uh, I need another volunteer to read uh, the first question, this one. Until here. Other volunteer? Me. Okay, thank you. What are some problems that may affect warehouse providers? Okay, very nice, good. What are some problems that may affect warehouse providers? Very good. Can we answer the equation? What are some problems that may affect warehouse providers? What do you think? For all the group, what do you think? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure that were livestock. Livestock? Livestock products. Okay, yes. Very nice. What about the rest? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Okay, let's go with the next question. They don't have too much space in the warehouse. Okay, too much. Uh, okay, not space enough in the warehouse brigade okay very nice maybe they don't have the uh, the right permissions to get some products or to save some products i don't know okay the uh, yes they don't have the uh, the permissions okay in this case is uh, uh, they don't have the patents according to work with some products right what is packet Okay, la patente, right? Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. But patents. Yes, yes, okay. the patterns. Okay, what about, how do you identify and prevent possible issues? Mm -hmm. Having a stop control. Ah, okay, having a very nice stock control, very nice. Uh, and of course, as I told you yesterday, it's really important to you to have a really nice stock control in order to make uh, a, war, a warehouse management correctly, right? So both are together uh, a good part of the development of the efficient company, right? You need both of them to work properly. Okay, right now we're going to have a conversation. Okay, uh, I don't know if you can read this, uh, Debbie. Yes, Mr. Lo Amarillo, verdad? Yes, yes. Okay, Mr. White and Daniel are talking talking about some issues with purchase orders. Read. The conversation and take turn practice, 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 practicing, practicing it. Practicing it. Okay, Mrs. White and Danielle are talking about some issues with purchase orders. Purchase. Suena como que si fuera la, la marca del carro, purchase. ¿verdad? Purchase. Okay, purchase, purchase. Purchase. Read the conversation and take turns practicing it. Practicing it, okay? Okay, this is a progressive tense, practicing it. Okay, very nice. Uh, I'm gonna need two volunteers, Mrs. and White, okay? 
Um, okay, I have yeah. to, yeah. Okay, Mariana is going to be Mrs. And uh, yeah, and Sonia is going to be white. Great teacher. Okay, uh, 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 one thing. Mrs. is a way um, to talk about a lady who is, um, para decir, señora Deber. Okay. Okay, pero es una forma de, de, de decir que una señora de, ¿verdad? Okay, pero ahorita lo que necesitamos es the practice, ¿ok? ¿Y si es una señora sin D? Ah, ahí <laughs> puede ser sin la, sin la R, Miss. Oh. Ajá, ah, no se quiere poner la marca registrada, ¿va? <laughs> <laughs> Mentira, te, es broma. Ok, very nice. La marca okay. de la bestia. La marca de la bestia, el sello de la, del 666. <laughs> Okay, very nice. Vamos a ver, start. Daniel, I'm going over some pitches. Purchase, purchase. Mm, está raro eso, como que está cortado. Uh, orders, but the product received yes. don't match the orders. This has happened three times already. No, no, no. Yo creo que el primer párrafo es de la... Es que es Mrs. White. Ah, sí, sí, por eso sentía que sí, era como... Sí, sí, sí. Y acá es Daniel. Oh. Sorry. Ajá, la, Sorry. Señor, la señora de... ¿Verdad? White. Okay. It's only okay. practice. Ahí está, ahí. Ah, okay. No, pero lo que ustedes querían... Para estar atención. Era para ver si estábamos atentos, ¿verdad? Yes. Ah, ok, very nice. Ok. Daniel... I'm going over some purchase orders, but the products received don't match the orders. This has happened three times already. Oh, I I bet it happened during the days the system reside maintains. And what's why your department didn't reside the right information in time? We have a copy of with the correct numbers. Well, that's fantastic. The information sent to the finance department <coughs> determine the wrong cause. As a result, we overpaid the three incomplete orders. I will send the document uh, to your department by five. So you can contact the company and ask for a uh, reimbursement. Okay, very nice, good, excellent. Very nice. Okay, vamos a, a trabajar en alguna pronunciation. Lo voy a, yo voy a hacer el párrafo, okay, voy a ir y ustedes van repitiendo, okay? Daniel, I'm going over some purchase orders. Voy a repetir una vez más. Daniel, I'm going over some purchase orders. But the products received don't match the orders. But the products received don't match the orders. This has happened three times already. Oh, I bet it happened during the days the system received maintenance. Maintenance. And that's why your department didn't receive the right information in time. Me voy a detener acá. ¿Vieron la diferencia en la entonación de esta con esta? Yes. Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. So it means it's really important the pronunciation. Oh my God. Okay. Bless you. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> it's really important the pronunciation, right? ¿Por qué? Porque cuando hablamos acá, ¿verdad? Es como hacer una oración afirmativa porque estamos hablando del pasado. Entonces yo tengo que decir received. 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 Okay, vamos a repeat everybody. Received. 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 Ok, hay que ser como, como, ajá, no es como que digan de, de un solo, ¿verdad? Sino como un sonido, de, 
D. Ok. Y eh, la siguiente, como ya tenemos el didn't, es como hacer una oración negativa, didn't receive. Ahí ya no lleva más. Receive. Que el sonido de la V. Receive. Ok. Y luego la siguiente, maintenance. 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 Ok, Maintenance. Vamos, vamos con la siguiente. Porches. 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 Ok, y acá tenemos el siguiente verbo. Happened. 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 Ok, very nice. Vamos con la siguiente. We have a copy of with the correct numbers. We have a copy of with the correct numbers. Well, that's fantastic. The information sent to the finance department determined the wrong cost. Vamos una vez más. Well, that's fantastic. The information sent to the finance department determined the wrong cost. Okay. As a result, we overpaid for three incomplete orders. We overpaid for three incomplete orders. Very good. I will send the documents, docu, documents, no documents, documents, right? I will send the documents to your department by five. So you can contact the company and ask for a reimbursement. Reimbursement. Okay. Alguna duda en pronunciation? Teacher, reimbursement is reimbursement. Reimbursement, sí. Okay. Okay, in pronunciation? No? Attention. Okay, very nice. Ahora sí, vamos a escuchar eh, a otra pareja, ¿verdad? Que también nos haga esta conversation. Vamos a escuchar a Walter, que la va a hacer con Debbie. Okay. Okay. Uh, Daniel, I'm going over some purchase orders, but the product received don't match the orders. This has happened three times already. Oh, I think it happens during the days the system received. One time, sir. And that's why your department didn't receive the right information in time. We have a copy of with the correct number. Well, that's fantastic. The information sent to the financial department determinate the wrong cost. As a result, we overpaid for three incomplete orders. I will send the documents to your department by five. So you can contact the company and ask for the reimbursement. Very nice. Awesome. Good. Okay. Vamos a escuchar ahora Carlos Membreño uh, con Aminda. Okay. Uh, Daniel. I got over some purchase order, but the products received don't match the order. This happened three times already. Oh, I bet this happened during the day the system received maintenance. And that's why your department didn't receive the right information in time. We have a copy of with, uh, of with the correct numbers. Well, that's fantastic. The information uh, sent to the finance department 
determine the wrong costs. As a result, we overpaid for three incompleted orders. I will send the documents to your department by Friday so you can contact the company and ask for a re reimbursement. Okay, very nice, good. Let me listen to uh, Ever, are you ready? Okay, let me listen to Belen and is going to war with, let me listen to Vanessa. Okay. Okay, awesome. I'm Mrs. White or Daniel, whatever. Yeah, whoever. Okay. Um, Daniel, I'm going over some purchase orders, but the products received don't match the orders. This happened three times already. Oh, I bet it happened during the days the system received maintenance, and that's why your department didn't receive the right information in time. We have a copy of with the correct numbers. Well, that's fantastic. The information sent to the finance department determined, determined the wrong cost. As a result, we overpaid for three incomplete orders. I will send the documents to your department by Pi so you can contact the company and ask for a reimbursement. Awesome. Very nice. Okay, Adela, and let me listen. Uh, Rosibel, are you ready to speak? Okay, Adela? Okay, Adela and Rosibel, okay? Daniel. I'm going over some purchase order, but the product received don't match the orders. This has happened three times already. Already. Oh, I think the microphone proceeded. Can you, can you hear me right now? Yeah, right now, yes. Yes, clear, like water. Okay. Uh, oh, I bet it happened, happened during the days. The system received maintenance and that's why your department didn't receive the right information in time. We have a copy of with the connect number. Correct numbers. Well, that's fantastic. The information sent to the finance department determined the wrong cost. As a result, we overpaid for three incomplete orders. I will send the documents to your department by five so you can contact the company and ask for a reimbursement. Reimbursement, yes. Okay, very nice. Solo tenemos todavía en esta palabra, happened. 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 Yes, y también en... Uh, Se termine. De department. 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 Yes, and let me listen to another one. Uh, Maybe okay. the, the news teacher, because I I I hear you that you said hurt. Oh no, used. Used, used, used. Where, where? No, no. It's because. Uh, Creo que estaba en el anterior, pero el used también eh, estaba y vi que lo corrigió en used. O sea, used, because I said used, but you told used. Used. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
Uh -huh, yes. Ok, es que en los pasados tenemos pronunciations. Tenemos pronunciations with t. Ok, que terminan en t. Aunque estén en el pasado es de. En los verbos regulares, ¿verdad? Y tenemos también pronunciación with t. Ok, y pronunciación with d. Ok, por ejemplo, este happened. ¿Verdad? Terminan con d. D. Sean cuando el verbo no lleva un, una vibración vocal, ¿verdad? Entonces ahí este, nosotros utilizamos ese sonido D, happened, happened. Ok, entonces cuando hay verbos que llevan, por ejemplo, eh, un sonido para pronunciarlo con la T, worked, worked. Por ejemplo, el verbo work, ¿verdad? En pasado, work, se pronuncia con un sonido de T. ¿Por qué? Como pues, work. Worked. Si usted, si usted hace, si usted solo es muy verbo y dice work, work, y se pone la mano en la garganta, usted va a sentir que vibra. Hágalo. Si, si no lo pronuncia en pasado, haciendo que es normal. Work, 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 ¿verdad? Que vibra, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, entonces cuando, una, cuando un verbo vibra así en la garganta, ¿verdad? nosotros lo utilizamos worked, worked. A esto nosotros le llamamos el boy sound, que es un sonido... ¿Verdad? Que lleva eh, la vibración. Y, por ejemplo, el verbo happen, happen, happen. ¿Verdad? Ha, happen, happen. No vibra como el work. Happen, happen. Ah, si usted pone la mano, no tiene una vibración como el del work. ¿Ok? Entonces, por eso se pronuncia happened y el work se pronuncia worked. Work. Ok. Ok. Estos son sonidos, ¿verdad? Ok. Ahora. Cuando, por ejemplo, usted ¿verdad? tiene un verbo que termina, por ejemplo, el verbo eh, start, ¿verdad? El verbo que termina con T se escribe, ¿verdad? Este, en la forma regular, ¿verdad? Started se pronuncia, ¿verdad? Se escribe, perdón, en pasado. Y se pronuncia started. Los verbos que terminan en la mayoría con T, ¿verdad? Y le agrega e de al final, suenan al final Eat, started, started. I started, ¿verdad? Cuando es en pasado. Ok, ok. Ok, very nice. Thank you, teacher. Very nice. Y, este, ¿qué otra palabra era? Ah, aquí esta no es financial, es finance. Repeat, finance. Finance. Ajá. Enciendan el micrófono. Quiero escucharlos a todos. Finance. 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 Ok. Porque le escuché a varios decir financial y no es financial. Bro. Es finance. Finance. Teacher, sí, en the term, eh, ahí me trabé. Ok, sí. Ya, ya voy a llegar ahí. Uh, vamos con la siguiente. The term, Determined. Mind. Determined. 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 Ok, es con mind. Determined. Determined. Ok, ese, ese sonido, ¿verdad? Tenemos otra finalización que es con el sonido de. Determined. 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 Pero no es que digamos de. D, sino que es sonido producido ¿verdad? como una vibración. D, D, determined. Ok. Y vamos a ver qué otra era que tenía acá. Esta. Documents. Documents. Ok. Y tenemos el reimbursement. 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 Ok, very nice. Ahora, eh, lo que les mencionaba, ¿se recuerdan cuando le iniciamos el módulo les dije algo? Necesitamos ponerle flow a la pronunciación, ¿verdad? ¿Se recuerdan que les mencioné eso al inicio? Sí, ¿verdad? Que se los mencioné al inicio del módulo. Yes, I remember. Ok, yo les dije, démosle con flow, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué? Porque así eh, ustedes escuchan, digamos, 
un poquito más Native American, ¿verdad? Ok, entonces ustedes tienen que hacerlo, por ejemplo, no es lo mismo que yo diga, I'm going over some porches, a que lo diga, I'm going over some porches. ¿Verdad que se nota la diferencia? Ok, ahora ustedes tienen que acostumbrarse a ese tipo de pronunciation. ¿Verdad? Porque necesitan acostumbrarse a eso. Y eso les va a ayudar a, a que ustedes también dominen más el speaking practice. ¿Verdad? Si ustedes tratan de, de eh, colaborar entre ustedes mismos, ¿verdad? Para que la pronunciación sea diferente, ¿verdad? Leer Daniel, I'm going on some purchase orders. But the products received don't match the orders. This happened three times a day. Se escucha pasable, digamos, ¿verdad? La pronunciación. A que yo lo lea como que estoy leyendo en español. Daniel, I'm going over some porche order. But the product received don't match the orders. This happened three times already. ¿Verdad que, ¿Verdad que se nota la diferencia? Yes, teacher. Ok. Entonces, si usted le pone ese poquito de flow, es un poquito. No es que tampoco va a ser, yo no, I'm going over some porche No, ¿verdad? tampoco. Es que vamos a torcer la cara, ¿no? Porque no es eso. ¿verdad? Si no es... Que usted le ponga un poquito de flow, acento, un poquito más de acento. Yo le digo flow para que captemos más rápido, ¿va? Ustedes se van a escuchar diferente. Es, ese es un punto clave para que nosotros podamos eh, pronunciar las palabras mejor. Y también me acuerdo que les dije, por ejemplo, cuando llevamos palabras que tienen ese, este sonido es importante hacerlo. Porches. ¿Ven? Porches. Cuando llevamos la T, don't. Don't, ¿verdad? Eh, cuando llevamos, por ejemplo, los plurales, times, orders, tenemos que nosotros hacer esa entonación para que se nos haga un poquito más fácil poder utilizarlo. ¿Ok? Eso es indispensable para que nosotros podamos manejar el English de la mejor manera, ¿verdad? Ok, ¿alguna question hasta acá? No, teacher. Clear like water. Okay. Okay, very nice. Um, students, eh, tengo entendido que les han estado pidiendo la documentación para la inscripción del siguiente módulo, ¿verdad? Yes, yes, it is. Okay, awesome, very nice. Okay, um, tienen que eh, tratar de llenarla lo más pronto posible para que pues salgan, porque les han dado una fecha límite de entrega, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher, uh, but in my case, I have some problems because uh, um, I don't have to fill anything in my, I don't have to complete anything because in my work, it's like the human resource completes all the information and then they send to us uh, like a formulario from Google Forms. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I just have to put the, my name and that I continue in the Model 5 or interme Intermediate Model 5. In that Google Forms, I didn't receive it yet. So um, I, I, I told to the Corporativo that I'm waiting for that formulario because I can't do anything. In the group, me parece que lo enviaron, ¿verdad? Yes, but they also uh, wrote to me in private. Mm, mm -hmm. Yes. So I'm just waiting. Oh, okay, very nice. Okay. Um, uh, try to text them uh, again because they are some a little bit busy sometimes and so that's why maybe they they forget about anything or maybe because they have some activities scheduled already, right? Okay. Um, ahí lo que puede ser es volverles a escribir, ¿verdad? Porque a veces ellos tienen algunas actividades ya programadas y quizás por eso de tantas actividades van dejando y dejando, ¿verdad? Para después llamarles. Pero si usted le escribe, le escribe, ellos van a notar que les urge y le van a enviar un poco más rápido la información. Ok, teacher. Ok, very nice. Ok, uh, es importante que ustedes también, ¿verdad? Llenen ese formulario y si tienen que a la documentación necesaria para Human Resources, ok, um, hacerlo para que Así pues puedan eh, ingresar nuevamente al siguiente módulo para que puedan seguir eh, en lo que es esto. Porque imagínense que ya llevan, van a llegar ya 
ya van a terminar el, el, lo que es el nivel intermedio. Ya solo les quedarían el... Van a terminar el 5 después y les quedaría solamente el 6, el 6. Y then ya van al avanzado, o sea que ya, ya lo llevan, pues, ¿verdad? Sí, yo, yo pienso que, pues, it's really important. I know it's difficult because you got extra time and you get tired at home because you have some busy days. But uh, take this as an opportunity. Tomen esto como una oportunidad, ¿verdad? Nadie dijo que iba a ser fácil la vida de adulto. ¿verdad? Todos queríamos ser adultos. Hoy aguantemos. <ríe> Cuando éramos niños todos queríamos ser adultos. Ahora quisiéramos ser niños nuevamente. Entonces ¿verdad? hay que hacer ese pequeño esfuerzo. Porque al final pues, va a valer la pena. Ustedes van a tener eh, un conocimiento extra. Porque de hecho ya lo tienen. ¿verdad? Y pues también les ayuda en su currículum. Porque van a tener un una certificación, ¿verdad? Por una institución bastante famosa en cuanto a la enseñanza del inglés, ¿verdad? El área competitiva y también la patente que va a tener por parte de INSAFOR, ¿verdad? Que ellos también capacitan y tienen estos programas para ustedes. Así que, eh, pues yo motivarlos a que sigan, ¿verdad? Para que puedan ustedes eh, aprovechar estas oportunidades que pues lo que más tienen que ustedes invertir es su tiempo. No les digo perder el tiempo porque perderlo es cuando usted lo hace en algo que no le genera algo de conocimiento, algo extra a usted para crecer como persona. Entonces, por eso no le, no le llamo que pierden el tiempo, sino que ustedes lo están invirtiendo en conocimiento. Así que eh, motivarles porque you are a good group. Ustedes son un grupo bastante bueno, muy... Eh, muy eh, activos, eh, participativos y tienen un buen conocimiento del idioma, ¿verdad? Ya solo necesitamos ponerlo más en práctica. Ok, very nice. Um, no question? Teacher. No, teacher. Ok, ok. Aminda, you going to say anything? No, no. Ah, ok, very nice. Okay, so I'm gonna call your name as soon as you listen your name, tell me present, okay? Adela Trinidad González Consuera. Present. Okay. Aminda René Figueroa de Manzano. Present. Okay. Belén Batre García. Present, teacher. Very good. Carlos William Membreño Núñez. Present. Very nice. Debbie Yasmin Girón Ramírez. Present. Very nice. Domingo Alexander González. Ever de Jesús Candre Montano. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Okay, very nice. Rosemary Ventura de Arguello. Rosibel del Carmen López. Present Okay, Good very nice. Good night. Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas. Sonia Ivette Alvarenga. Present. Very nice. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemus. Present teacher. Very nice. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Present. Okay. Wendy Karina Morales Amaya. Okay, students, so um, hope to see you tomorrow. Uh, remember, uh, no faltemos a clases, ¿verdad? Porque ya los minutos que nos quedan para poder recuperarnos ya, ya no nos daría el margen, ¿verdad? Y recuerden que el cuanto al porcentaje de minutos es indispensable para la inscripción al siguiente módulo. Así que ustedes tienen que eh, tener en cuenta eso, que, que es muy indispensable. Y también es indispensable los minutos para la que es el tema del diploma, ¿verdad? Ok, entonces así que, um, take that into account. Eh, si yo le digo, por ejemplo, que pues hay situaciones cuando las que ustedes no pueden estar activos, está bien, ¿verdad? No hay problema. Eh, Díganme, teacher, yo no puedo por tal razón, ¿no? pero que no se haga costumbre, ¿verdad? Que todas las clases no pueden participar, que todas las clases no pueden... Esto porque 
pues al final si no participamos, ¿verdad? Es como que mmm, no le estamos dando el, el valor para poder aprender lo que es el speaking. Entonces al final estaríamos como por estar nada más. ¿verdad? Entonces necesitamos estar participando, estar activos. Y cuando pues haya situaciones, por ejemplo, que están en, la tra en, en el trabajo o que están en temas de, de camino a casa, es, es comprensible, ¿verdad? Ok, pero let me know when you are ready. Así que eh, nos vemos mañana en the same hour and the same channel, ¿ok? Bye, teacher. Thank you. Ok, teacher. Good night. Ok. Bye, teacher. Good night. Bye, bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. Leticia, can you hear me? <clears throat> Leticia, Leticia.